I was out for 30 days and then I got charged with attempted murder. Drake embraced me and Drake was the love child of the city. That same lady that I said was my mom, mm. she turned me into a rock star while I was in prison. My mom brought me a fucking half ounce of weed. Somehow the music gets back to Drake. The music thing just came out of nowhere. So a lot of people didn't want me to do it. But when you get convicted for 13 years, when the judge said that, it didn't, it didn't hit me. I'll be real with you. Yeah. Until I got, got back to the prison. Any guy that wants to tell you that he doesn't cry, yeah. fuck you, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, tears came to my motherfucking eyes. All right, guys, welcome back to the MBH podcast. Money buys happiness. We are in the beautiful city of Toronto, hometown, no? Downtown Toronto, baby. Hometown vibes. And, you know, it looks a little different today. This ain't the regular studio. We're on a fucking yacht in Toronto, and you can't really say that, you know, too often. Yep. It's one, of, one of the only yachts in Toronto, probably. And shout out GTA Yachts for that, for real. Yeah, shout out GTA Yachts. If you need any yachts in Toronto, Miami, Montreal, we're going to plug them in in the description. Shout Go out, check them out. Shout out Captain Benny. Shout out Captain Binny. You have to, my guy. AKA, my guy. AKA, AKA Castaway. Let's, let's, pop up a, <laughs> let's pop up a picture of his face right now so everyone knows what we're Boom. talking about. Beautiful. All right, yo, who the fuck is in the fucking spot right now? So who we, got, we got Baka. Yes. AKA Not Nice. Mm. Not <laughs> Nice. We got, the, we got the ashtray too, though. Yes, sir. We got both. <laughs> yes, sir. You're looking good, bro. How you doing, man? Thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Of course, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we want to get into your story, uh, I think, from the beginning. I think I, I think I want to go back to when you were like a kid. All right. The kid Baca. Mm -hmm. What was he like? Where were you born, first of all? I was born in Montreal. Montreal. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. How was that? I mean, it was different because it's French, you know? Yeah. Mm. But uh, it's 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 small, it's it's small city vibes to me, okay. you know, like it's it's like a place where you'd want to raise a family. Don't get don't get me wrong. It's it's gully as, you know. <laughs> but like, yeah. It's, but you're saying if you want to like grind and work and yeah, and, and do that yeah. shit, there's better places. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, and then and then okay, you grew up there. How old were you? I guess when you left Montreal. I think I was like twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think and I you came like, out to Toronto. I came out to Toronto because my dad lived out here. Okay. okay. And what was what was like uh, what was family life like for you? Like what was the family? Like? Did you have your your both your parents? So yeah, that was that's the thing. Um, my parents were separated. Okay. So my mom, her family was from Montreal when they when they came from her country or native country, which is Barbados. Okay. Yeah. They all went to Montreal. My dad, his family, some of them landed in Toronto and some of them landed in America. Yeah. Okay. And then I guess I guess even moving at that age, how was that on you as a kid? Man, it was it was it was I don't know. Like when I look at it, like when I look at it now, it's probably like, fuck. It was probably a lot, you know, because I was I was literally going back and forth from my mom to my dad because wow. okay. I was a. I was a little troubled kid, you know? So like, <laughs> when I got in too much trouble at, with one parent, I'd be like, yo, I want to go see my dad. Yeah. And, uh, you <laughs> and know? then you juice it up there. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Then... <laughs> I'm going back to my mom, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I was back and forth. Okay, so true. I, I was never really stable. And my dad always told me that too. He's like, yo, you got to get stable, you know? You got to mm. get your mind right. Like you stay in one spot and yeah, do one thing. Yeah, you can't thing. keep moving back and forth, you know? Yeah. And, and, and it's and not going to be good a, for you. As a kid, like, was there anything you thought you wanted to do? Was was music in that? Or was it just like, was there any sort of dreams? Even at that I, age, like 12, 13 -ish. Yo, I'll be honest with you. I loved music from that age. Okay. Because it was just in my household every day. Like, yeah. even with my mom. My mom wasn't a musician or nothing, but she loved music. So yeah. she would be on Marvin Gaye and all yeah. of those mm. all of those guys, Teddy Penn. And the grass yeah. and, you know what I mean and, and then my dad he's he's on the gospel side okay. okay but but he still messes around with all genres like earth wind and fire so I was hearing all genres of music yes. you know what I mean and you liked it and I loved it oh, and yeah, like yeah. my mom like her her brothers they they're from Montreal so they're a little different they're <laughs> I, I don't they're not like guys from here like okay, black yeah. guys from here they're more like you know they're they're they'll Try different things, you okay, know what I'm saying? Okay. So they were into rock and roll and shit. Oh shit! Okay. So okay. so I got introduced to that from my uncles. Okay. You know what I mean? Sick. So it was kind of crazy. Yeah. And, and but okay, so you're being introduced to music at that age. I guess you're a young teen, and even even maybe even younger. But are you ever thinking like this is something I can do, or you just love listening to it and love having it around? Yo, my sister used to sing when we were okay. kids, right? And then she got, she uh, got this thing on her throat called papaloma. 
mm-hmm. which okay. is a fungus or something that yep. grows on her vocal cords. Yeah. So it causes her voice not to, change. to sound. Yeah. yeah. So she couldn't sing anymore. So she loved music. I loved music, but I always tried to sing, but I, I just couldn't. You keep tried to <laughs> like I, I tried. I tried. I remember I was at church and uh, it was like a Christmas thing, and I tried to do a thing, and I was way off. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I think I kind of ruined it, you know. <laughs> But yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to do music, but I just didn't know how to. And I and it's crazy. I didn't know how to approach my dad mm. and say, "Yo, teach me," because my dad has been playing guitar for like probably over fifty years now. Wow! And wow. to me, he's my hero when it comes to. I think he's the greatest guitar player. In do the you world think that it was like that a... no one's ever heard about? Wow! Mm. Yeah, so we real talk. Put... He's mm. sick. So, so I guess like you were trying to learn from him, but you didn't want to go up to him and be like, "Dad, I want to learn." It's like a it's like a young male kind of thing to do like as yeah, a son like yeah. you don't want to ask your dad for too yeah. much because then it's like oh fuck he's gonna think i need him and all this so maybe talk to us about the relationship with your pops it's it's okay so when i was younger it was kind of strained you know uh remember i want you every kid wants their their, their mom and dad to be together you know what i'm saying of course, bro. so that wasn't happening for me and both my parents got remarried Okay, you know? okay. So, and at that to time, someone else, yeah, yeah. yeah so, okay. and I want my mom with my dad. I want my yeah. dad with my mom. So I wasn't really getting along with my stepmother, or I wasn't really getting along with my stepfather. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm That's saying. A classic, it's a classic yeah. kid thing to do. You know like, what I mean? Yeah. So it's just like, yeah, I, I had to figure it out. So I did, but it didn't get better for me until I got older. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking like my age now. Like recently. Yeah. Like I feel like me and my stepmother have the best relationship yeah. now like yeah. when i was younger it wasn't like that for me because i didn't grown. understand yeah i didn't understand it. I'm, I'm grown now i, yeah. I get it you, know you have I mean? life experience exactly. all these things and, and right even exactly. with that, i guess happening at a young age because even our parents are both divorced both right. parents, right? right like mine was more recent i think his his happened a while ago yeah, yeah, right yeah. did that change your perspective on on relationships and family at a young age too and like was that like something that you took in and you're like maybe i don't want this to happen to me yeah for sure for sure like like even right now like man you gotta understand, like I'm a little famous, so like you know, you're being humble. Females, yeah, yeah. Females, being humble. You're being humble with that. <laughs> females, females. You know, of when course. you meet a female and you you like each other, sometimes, yo, I'll be honest with you. I just know that at this moment in my life, I cannot be in a like relationship. Yeah, it's okay. not fair to to, 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 the, the, woman, to the woman. To the yeah. woman, it's not yeah. gonna be fair to her. I'm traveling. I'm going all over the place. You know, there's a lot of women around me. Mm. I don't want to hurt nobody like yeah. deliberately. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. built like that. I'm not that type of guy. Of you course. know what I'm saying? So, I'm not looking for no relationship right now. Mm. Yeah, and I and I just try to be honest with them and let them know that too. Like, do you think it, it would ever be something in the future that you think about? For sure. Like yeah. when I'm not doing music and uh-huh. stuff like that, I I know it's possible. Well, it's it's hard to do yeah, it when it's you're easier said than done. Yeah, you know facts. what I mean. The temptations are retarded. Yes, yeah, yeah, fact. you know? and, and, and we say it a lot too. We say it on our end. I mean, Anthony has a girlfriend. He's been in a relationship for a long time, healthy relationship. Mm-hmm. But they always kind of try to get at me because I'm single, right? Right. <laughs> and I'm right. just like, listen, in, in my point in my life right now, like I don't think I could have the time to do that and stuff like that. But obviously, there's even the the debate where it's like you can make time if you care about it. But that even to an extent. Too, well, because it, you got to have time for yourself too to, to clear your head, yeah, right? Especially you with do. you, where you have music. You're in the lab one day, then you're traveling the next day, then you're in front of a crowd the next day. Exactly. So and, and, and it's and, not just time; it's and, mental. And yo, I'm, listen, man, listen. I I came into this thing on a on a big scale, and mm. I'm not talking about like my music per se. I'm talking about on the coattails of Drake. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's not he a joke. Had yeah. me, it's not a joke. He yeah. had me opening when we were on, on tour, like yeah. major tour. Yeah, like yeah. this is the biggest artist in the world. It's no joke. Yeah. You know, it's not a joke. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, so it got me prepared. Yeah. Obviously it was a lot of nervous wreck nights and stuff like that, but yeah. you learn, you yeah. learn, you learn. Yeah. I watched him and, and I just picked up everything and I, now I'm ready. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm ready to go start my, because yeah. my, when when we start go, doing our tour, it's definitely not going to be on that scale. Sure. So, but I'm ready for that lower scale. Yeah. You got to be. You got to be dialed well, in. You got to build up. You got to build up. You got to build up to it. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. I, I, I want to know. So you move here at twelve. You said around twelve years yeah. old, and then you know your life kind of happens in Toronto. I kind of want to know a little bit of a timeline. Like you come to Toronto, and then sort of what happens in your life from that period of time. So, I come to Toronto, and you know. You're a teenager. I'm kind of rebelling. I don't want to live with my dad. My dad's too strict. Yeah. And my mom, my biological mother, had a best friend. Her name was Lynn Williston. Rest in peace. Uh-huh. Right? She loved me like her own child. So basically what happened is when I came to Montreal, 
my mother was like, my biological mother was like, yo, I had enough of this. I'm out of here. Yeah. She went back to her native country, Barbados, okay. Barbados. built a house and said, forget and all you guys. I'm here. Yeah, I'm yeah. there. I'm doing my thing. Okay. You okay. guys figure it out. Her friend, her best friend took me in. Wow. Raised me like her son. Crazy. So I, that was my mother. So okay. it's so crazy. Like I literally had three mothers. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she was the one who raised me. She was the one who made sure I went to school. Mm. And when I was doing bad in school, she she pinpointed what I liked in yeah. life at that time, which was wrestling. I, I, I was the biggest, oh yeah, yeah, for I really? was the biggest wrestling guy like no? ever on. met Come in on, your bro. life. Come you on. hear me? Okay. So I'm gonna tell you something that I never really told anybody. So because you know I'm living with this woman, it's my mom's best friend. Obviously, I miss my mom. All these things are going through my mind as a kid. And I'm going to school. I got to get my gra My grades were fucking going down, mm. right? So the lady, my mom, Lynn, realized like, yo, this kid's fucking up. Like, I got to get him back on track. What can I do to get him back on track? Okay, you know, bribe. But in a good way, you yeah. know? She's like, listen, if you fucking bring your grades up to a B, yeah. You know what I'm gonna do for you? I'm gonna bring you to WrestleMania. And to me, that was the biggest That's a talk. Thing. Come yeah. on. Bro, come it changed on. my life. Yeah. I got I got better than B. I was yeah. gonna be pluses. Okay. Like for real. Yeah, and then yeah. I earned the trip to go to WrestleMania. And she took me to WrestleMania. That's and legendary. It's, it's legendary because I will never forget this woman. She passed yeah. away. She passed yeah. away like like two years ago okay. of yeah. cancer. Yeah, yeah. But when I tell you guys, like, she was my mother, and she's a white lady, too, by yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right? She's a white lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian, Nova Scotian. Wow. Raised me. So it's, it's it gets really deep. That's like, crazy. So, so, yeah. so, let's go, let's go. So yeah. she, Lynn, was uh, basically, date, because she was my mother's best friend, yeah. she ended up dating one of my mother's brothers, which is my uncle. Okay. She okay. ended up having children for him. Okay. So okay. Now there's I have like a cousins, connection. That I have are, cousins. That, that are bloodline yes, now. Yes, bloodline, right? Mm. So she realized, okay, my mother left me. I'm just out here in the streets, 12, 13 years old, banging. She's yeah. like, okay, I, I love I love my, my friend. I can't let her kid just be out here. I'm going to take him in and raise him. Yes. So said, so said. She raised me like her own child. Yeah, like crazy. her own child. That's, that's wow. insane. And even, yeah. even when it comes to your relationship with her, because at that age, I feel like that's when the, 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 like the human brain is forming. That's when we're learning about key things about she life. She taught me so much things. What are some her. things that she taught you? She taught me to love. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was a hard person. I didn't love a lot of people because, first of all, I, 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 was, I was upset with my mother. Yeah. It was like resentment. You yeah, had. resentment. Yeah. She left me. I was, I was a teenager. She yeah, was like, yeah. yo, I'm out of here. She went to Barbados. She basically left me to say, stay with my mom and my dad, which yeah. is my grandparents. Okay. Yeah. And bro, come on, a, I a guy a at that age, age, you don't want to grow up with your grandparents. And you're not taking it serious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, it's like too much, like mm. too much restrictions, like, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So she taught you how to love. Yeah. She taught me how to love. She taught me how to forgive because mm. I, for a long time I didn't forgive my mom. And then I ended up forgiving her. And she taught me like, yo, listen, you know, sometimes you mess up in life because while I was with her in her care, I ended up getting the 13 years, okay. right? Okay. But I don't blame her for that. It has nothing to do with her. That's mm -hmm. just me being a young, rebellious teen and just yeah. just just uh, out there trying to find myself. I you want to I, I want to talk about the 13 years a little yeah. bit because I think there's a lot of lessons to be learned. You know, mm -hmm. we have a lot of young men that listen to this podcast. You know, yeah. and I think that there could be a lot of value there. So, talk to us about that experience. How it came to be, what it was like, like the, the, the whole the whole thing. We kind of want the whole the whole run. So through. so basically, like when I was eighteen, oh, so it's crazy. So I at one point I went on a rampage with my little buddies okay. in the streets. <laughs> yeah, we were yeah. just like doing a whole bunch of robberies, armed robberies, just going crazy mm -hmm. as kids, you know. And I got anyway. Long story short, I ended up getting caught. Okay. And I ended up taking the charge. Okay. Like they didn't they didn't have anything on any of my other friends, but they wanted me to roll over on them. But I was like, yo, it was me. And then I made up names. And the names that I made up were like cars. I was like, yeah, my friend Audi. <laughs> and I just <laughs> said Cor on, I said bro. vet. I said vet or some core vet or something. Whatever shit. came to your mind. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And I just threw them off. So long story short, all my friends got off and I ended up going to the penitentiary as yeah. a Oof. teenager. And how old were you when you went in? I was 18. 18. Wow. And I'm going into a place where like it's just Criminal, it's grimy, grimy. Yeah, and at that time, it was, it wasn't like now, man. It's like, yo, you respected your elders at that time. True, and, different and, world. And, yeah, and then mm -hmm. and, and 
guys that were doing things at that time, you really respected them. So it wasn't about trying to be a tough guy all the time because that didn't work back then because you yeah. would get checked. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On some Facts. real, like, there's no Hollywood shit going on. You're yeah. getting checked, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, I had to learn quick. So, so you got thir- you got you did you did thirteen no, years. No, I did got you- two years, seven months. Okay, okay. For those armed robberies. Okay. okay, okay. Got out, got out. I was out for thirty days, and then I got charged with attempted murder. Okay, that's where everything changed. Convicted me for a crime I did not do. My friend did it, but I didn't rat on him again. Damn. And I got thirteen and a half years. Wow. So that's where all the street cred and yeah. all that stuff because everybody from. My city, my hood knew that I actually went to prison for something I didn't do. Yeah, so you know, you, there's a respect for that. You know, there's a yeah, yeah. For that. I don't know about now because it's getting so weird. It's and different, course, yeah. But like, yeah. But, but in terms of like, okay, you know, two years, seven months is one thing. Yeah. But when you get convicted for 13 years, yeah, you feel like, like your life is over. What? Yeah, I want walk us through what, like that feeling, that moment too that you even like, found out. That you, like, that you find that out. Listen, like, I was I, I was in court. I was in court and my dad was in court and I and I put this in my song, one of my songs that I have. I don't know, did I release a song? Give me that work. Give me that work. If okay. you guys listen, give me that work. There's a I, there's a section where I'm talking about where were you when I got the 13 years? Mm. Where were you when I was down below? You know, mm. uh, basically saying, yo, you guys didn't see my dad when he was in the courtroom when when the judge said 13 years, yeah. nine months or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, so it was just a trying time when he, when the when the judge said that it didn't it didn't hit me. I'll be real with you yeah. until I got got back to the prison because, you know, they do that they they give you your time and then they handcuff you. They bring you back downstairs okay. in the bullpen and then you get shipped back to the to the detention center where you're doing your time until, you know. So it didn't hit me until I got in my cell that night because yeah. I'm around people. So you, your energy's yeah. still high. high. And everything's shit. okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's not until you get in your cell, you're, alone? you're by yourself, and, and it hits you. And I'm, yeah. I, and bro, I'm human. I, any guy that wants to tell you that he doesn't cry, yeah. fuck you, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, tears came to my motherfucking eyes. And maybe it came to my eyes because I, was, I knew I was an innocent man. I don't know. Mm. But tears came to my eye that night, and that's when it hit me like, yo, you're gone. Yeah. There's no, hold on, let me go back and say bye to yeah. my mom. Yeah. Let me go kiss brother yeah. you're going from there you're going on a bus and you're going fucking out east damn Fuck. period yeah lock off <laughs> yeah I, I always wonder because you see it in the movies all this shit they get the charge the guy you know he has all these emotions and stuff yeah. and so i wonder like really how it felt but you're saying kind of when you got back that's when it hit it you. didn't hit me until and, i was in my cell by myself and 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 going into it did you think like Oh, I'm getting char- I'm getting charged for this for sure. Or did you have a thought in your mind like I maybe- always thought I always yo. So this is crazy, <laughs> man. So I was in this cell with this guy, and he was into the Bible a lot, you know. Okay. And he was always like trying to teach me. He was always trying to calm me down. Like yo, you got because when I was in jail, I'm you gotta the same energy you have on road. You better have that same energy in jail. Yeah. yeah. You, nothing switches, brother. Yeah, so yeah, it's like yeah. if you're tested, you better you better be there to answer the call. You know what mm. I'm saying? So he would always be trying to tell me, like, listen, you don't got to act crazy. You don't got to calm down. Like, you know, but he was right. He was right because I was falling under that trap. Like, yo, I got to go there and prove something to anybody in that building. I don't got to prove nothing to none of you guys. Fall in the same Mm. trap again. Exactly. Yeah. And then get more time. That's what I'm saying. idiot. So even even going (laughs) going a little bit back before we go go ahead with your career, Mm -hmm. um, when you were making those decisions as a teenager before the first bid, for example, what made you? I like decide- how you said that. The first bid. <laughs> what, what made <laughs> you want to want to take that route? Because I feel like again, our listeners, they're growing up, teenagers, young young twenties, and they're being tempted uh, tempted into these these paths that can be very harmful for their future. It's it's the friendship thing. Okay. It's the mm. friendship thing because yo, yep. you have to understand something, yo, yo. You grew up with a group of guys, right? And all of you guys get kicked out. Maybe not at the same time, but individual different yeah. times. So I get kicked out. I got to go stay at your mom's house. Yep. Mm. You get kicked out. You come stay at my mom's house. Yep. So we just been through this thing and we're like, yo, man, like, is this how we're living, bro? Like, yeah. yo, I'm tired of this, man. Like, you know what I mean? I want, I, I want a car. Yeah. I want, I, yo, bro, I want to live like how, how I see Billy Bob over there because he's pushing keys. I want to fucking live like that because yeah. that was our heroes. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's who we had to look up to. Yeah. The, the dudes in the hood that was getting money from doing what they was doing. Yeah. yeah. And they were coming around with their shiny cars, fancy clothes, new shoes. We were looking at ourselves like we're busted. Like <laughs> yeah. our moms and dads yeah. are not buying yeah. us the latest. They're not, they're just not doing it. First of all, they don't have the means to do it. Sure. Yeah. You sure. know what I'm saying? 
So I don't, I'm not, like, as an adult now, when I look back, I, I'm not even mad that my dad wasn't doing it for me back then mm -hmm. because he just couldn't do it. Yeah, he didn't yeah. have the means. You know like what I mean? Like, like, right now, if I couldn't do it for my son, son, you have to understand, I'm not doing it because I don't want to make you fly. It's because I can't do it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. So would you say that was the only option that was... That was the only option in yeah. my mind in your because head. my mind was young. Yes. True. There was definitely better options, but... Okay. My mind was young. Our mind was young. It's all you knew. Thought, yeah, and, and we're from the streets, and that's mm. all we knew. So, so I guess after the first bit and you come out, were you thinking, I'm going to change up, or you were going to go right back to it? You already knew. No, I, I wanted to change up, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. You didn't know do. how. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then something was presented to me, and it, it sounds so easy. And it I takes was like, one night, whatever, Yeah, and like... I was like, at first, I was like, yeah, I'm down. I'm down to do this, uh, this move. But then when I heard guns were involved in shit, I was like, you know what? I have two life bands. Yeah. On on machines, I'm on parole right now. Mm. I'm out like 30 days from doing a two two years seven months. Yeah, crazy. Okay? Yeah. So I don't want to take no. I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm off this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not with it no more because we don't. Because I'm like, yo, I'm just on some like straight gorilla shit. Like that's yeah. why when, when I came out of prison, first of all, I was bigger than everybody in my neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. So I came out on some Debo thing. Like yeah. you came, I'm you're knocked. You're, you're knocked out. Yeah, yeah. So uh -huh. I'm just on that mentality. Yo, call him. And when he gets here, I'm just gonna KO him, <laughs> and, and that's it. And we're just taking how many, over. How many, how many times do you have to do that in jail? <laughs> just no, go KO someone that got the call. I just <laughs> like KO. I, I can't even count. Maybe, but like I was just known for that. Like that's just yeah. that's yeah, yeah, why yeah. they call me Baka not nice. Yeah. Mm. Hence, you know what I'm saying? Of like course. I'm not nice. Like I remember there was a time where like movie shit, bro. I'm yeah. being honest with you. I, we found out some guys had some weed, and I made them come to my neighborhood. But when they came to my neighbor, I was expecting like one or two guys. When they came, it was like seven of them. Stop. Mm. Seven white boys. Because <laughs> oh, they, they, they were selling weed at the time. They came with their knapsack. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I'll, yo, bro. I lived up to my name, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I remember what I did. I lined them all up in front of a garage. And I lit. Because the weed wasn't in the bag. They were okay. smart. They oh. hid the weed before they came down. True. Right? Okay. So I needed to find out where the fucking weed was. So I lined them all up in front of the garage and literally like baby boy i don't know if you've seen baby boy no no like i went up to one. each one of them where's the weed you know what i'm saying wow <laughs> knocked out right down the line no and games, they all eh? stood there and took it like yeah. i'm like so, yeah. but they're, they're lining up for you you're like line up and they're yes like, all right. and they're staying there and they all took shots <laughs> Crazy. And, they, and, and i give it to them yeah. they never gave it up yeah come they on never gave it up they left with that weed for they real, left eh? with the weed they left with Damn. the weed man they so, never okay, gave so it this, up i guess before we get into the the second bid Music wasn't a thing at all at this point mm -mm. in your life, right? Mm -mm. You're just still loving it back of your head. I just love music. You're now I'm into hip hop. Now I'm into hip hop. Hard. Now you're into the hip hop. Yeah. Start seeing that Master more. Master P, No Limit. Yeah. Okay. That was the era back then. Okay. Yes. 98 times. And yeah. then in terms of like, in terms of like people, I guess, was there anyone you were looking up to? You said some people on your, on your hood and shit like that. Yeah, of course. There was a lot of people that I looked up to. I don't want to say no names. Of course, but like, of course. But did you have a... mentors and people that were trying to tell you which ways to go and what not to do? No. No. Definitely didn't have way. that. Yeah. Only, the only thing we did have, we had other guys that were doing what we wanted to do, that were doing it way before us, okay, and they're okay. older, okay. that were trying to discipline and say, yo, you need to chill out and stop doing things the way you do things. And then we're looking at him like, shut the fuck up, because <laughs> yeah. you're doing what we want to do. Don't fucking tell Don't us. Don't tell us. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're being a hypocrite. Yeah. yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, so I, and I'm, I'm curious. Before we kind of get into the career and you coming out after the second time, like looking back now, do you feel any regret for what you went through? Like, do you, do you like, or or is it kind of like, yo, I take this as a lesson. Like, I, I learned a lot. I changed as a person. And it actually, it actually changed your life when you came out, right? Yeah. So I I wouldn't change nothing. Mm. I wouldn't change nothing. I just feel like every man's life is already ordained, like predetermined. Yeah, yeah. predetermined. Yeah. I was supposed to have that happen to me. Yeah. Matter of fact, at the time when that happened to me, my neighborhood was, and my my neighborhood and my fellow other neighborhood, because we we were we were merged together. Okay. It was like an insane war war going on. And and my dad tells me to this day, like, yo, you ended up getting that 13 years because we all know that you weren't guilty of it. But he, you, my dad's, he's a Christian, so he believes in God. And I believe in God too. And he's like, yo, you went to prison and God saved you because if you were out here during that war, worse. yeah, you, you you probably it's either Six you would have died, under, bro, yeah. either you would have died or you would have killed somebody and got life instead mm. of getting thirteen years. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what I was gonna ask you. Yeah. If you. If you think you didn't have to serve that time, do you think eventually you would have something would have happened like that? 
Like you get yeah, high, yeah, because it was getting really bad. It was getting yeah. real hostile at that time. True, it was really getting and, bad. Like. And in terms of your your you know your thirteen years at that point, like I kind of want to understand like how your mindset changed throughout those thirteen years because yeah. it's not two years, three years, like it's over a decade of yeah, time, right? Your your, your your mind has to change. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like I, because I'm, because. It's either it's either you're just a career criminal mm. and 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 you're just crazy or you're a psychopath or you're a human being and you you learn from uh, from your mistakes and yeah. learn from life experiences. You yeah, know? and that's what I did. I learned from my life experience. Like, okay, uh, Baka, you can't be out here robbing people <laughs> and carrying on and thinking that it's cool because you're gonna get caught. And you're going to jail. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to go to jail again? Do you want to get 13 years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just sat down and did fucking how much years? No, I don't want to yeah. fucking do this. So yeah, my mentality is gonna change when I come out. Like, yeah. I'm gonna think different. I got, I gotta think. What can I do now? Yeah. That's gonna make me live the lifestyle that I want to live, but not do those crazy things because those crazy things are gonna land me right back here. Yeah. True. So I came out with a mentality like, "Yo, I want to find myself." Mm. Period. Yeah. And 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 within finding myself, I went back to prison like three more times, not because I did anything, just uh -huh. because they hated me. Yeah, you're on a list now. Yeah, and 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 make it worse. Drake embraced me and Drake was Drake was the the love child of the city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Why are you with this guy? You yeah. know what this guy does? You know, you know Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So the pressure that they put on him yeah. was Fuck. was a Crazy. lot. So for him to just steadfast and, and be like, yo, that's my friend. I like I I, I hear what you guys are saying. But I know who he really is. Yeah. And like, I know he's not doing all these things that you guys are talking about. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and 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 when you're in there though, like how are you staying up to date with what's going on like outside? What's going on is Snoop, and I'm here to announce that the new Happy Dad and Death Row Records flavor is great. And now it's officially in stores. I chose the flavor, and the team at Happy Dad, they spent months perfecting it and it's my new favorite drink. If you're chilling at home or turning up at the club, make sure you do it right with the Happy Dad and Death Row Grape. Call your local liquor stores and see who has it. It's everywhere now. You can also order it on GoPuff app, Instacart, and Drizzly in some areas. You gotta be 21 and over and drink responsibly. Oh, like I said, like, <laughs> now I could talk about this now because it's <laughs> over, guys. So, like, it's a movie. Yeah. I went to prison and, 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 and that same lady that I said was my mom, mm. the white lady, Lynn. Yeah. She turned me into a rock star while I was in prison. Okay. And there's no other way for me to say it, brother. And like, in what sense? She, she uh, like, so when I first got down there, she yeah. sensed that I was going downhill. Yeah. Depression and shit. And she's like... She came to she came to visit me one day and she's like, "What can I do? Like, is there anything I can do? Yeah, to like help you through this situation." I'm like, "You want to help me?" I'm like, "Honestly, mom, you want to help me? I don't want to get you involved in my lifestyle." Yeah, and she's like, "Stop! You're my son." Mm. Furthermore, I'm up. She she told me she's upset with the government with how they dealt with me because she knows she knows I was innocent. Yeah. I mean, like my whole neighborhood would come to her and tell her stories like, "Yo, we know what happened that day. We know mm. it wasn't him." Da, da, da. So she knew what was yeah. going on. So she was hurting for me because she, she knew I was hurting. So I was like, "Yo, mom, I need weed. Straight up, I just need weed." Yo, next week visit. My mom brought me a fucking half ounce of weed. I Come remember on. like it was yesterday. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and I Come got it on. and I got it and I, I got it back in. Okay. I can't I can't remember the first time how I got it, but I, I got it back in. And what happened was I made so much money off of that weed, plus I got the smoke. Yeah. And when she came back, I gave her the money. Okay. And she was like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Got so then it. so then both of our heads were just like, Ching -ching! Yeah. And she's like, I'm, just, I'm like, okay. yo, we can make a lot of money, mom. Yeah. Just bring me da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I figured out a way how to do it. Okay. Because I'll tell you straight up, prison is a very secured place. Of course. You're under the camera, 24 hours a day. Mm. Okay. So in order to bring drugs into a prison, is not an easy task. For sure. So I, I had imagine. to come up with a way to figure it out, how to do it, <laughs> and I came up with the sickest scheme. And I just did it right in front of their faces. Okay. 
and I got away with it for years. Okay. But they hurt me though. They hurt me because they knew they knew I was controlling the prison with the drugs. They just they they bust my cell. They did all. They just could never find me with drugs or yeah, yeah, yeah. bust my mom. They knew something was up. They knew it because <laughs> yeah. they have informants. They yeah, have yeah. confidential true, informants. True. So they're getting information daily. I know yeah. what people in 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 the bin just have money. Like they're just buying shit. Like yeah, how's so that it's work? Not, it's not really cash. So it's it's like how you do e transfer. Okay. I was doing e-transfer before e-transfer started. <laughs> Come on. I swear to God. <laughs> okay. Yo, how my system, how I was doing it, was like, all right. So I would have runners. I never touched nothing. I would just bring the dope in. As soon as I get the dope, I would disperse it to my yeah. runners, yeah. and that's it. It's gone, yeah. So I have all my runners in a book. So basically what they would do is, say you guys wanted something, right? $100 worth of something. Yeah. So you, wanna ha you want $100 worth of something. So I'm gonna say, put $100 in my account and three cents. And I'm gonna put your name, your initial beside that. I, if you want something, you're gonna put $100 and eight cents. I'm gonna put your this. So you now knew. I know who is who. Who's so who's now when I, when I call my mom now on my cell phone, cause she brought me my cell phone, by the way. Okay. We yeah. stepped up our game. Oh. We stopped you. She, <laughs> oh, you got serious. It was a movie. Yeah. So <laughs> now I'm calling her on my cell phone and she's just, I have my book and I'm just, Check it off, check it out. She say three cents, eight cents, sixteen cents, twenty six cents. So I know whose money is there. Who's paying? So now when they call yard up, I can call my runners. Be like, yo, here's the here's the here's whose money's in there, and they all go through it, and they know who's paid and who hasn't paid. So who hasn't paid now gets pressured. Wow. So I was doing this guy e a whole transfer. operation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, that might have to crazy. be like a, a, like a movie one day for real. Bro, it's on its own. I don't know how I did, <laughs> yeah. but but hold on. All jokes aside, yeah. guys. Yo, like I said, I got 13 and a half years yeah. for something I didn't do. Yes, mm. it was the hardest thing. So, like I told you, my mom realized that I was going downhill, depression and shit. And I need to tell you guys this: if I didn't, because I'm not glorifying it, mm. you know, because it, it sounds sick, it sounds hype, you know, all that shit. I'm still not gonna glorify it, right? Okay. But I had to do that to keep myself, my sanity. Yes. If I had to like, it was a job. Yeah. Mm. Something I had to wake up and 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 keep, uh, I had to make sure everything was in order every day. It gave you a schedule. It like gave shit me a to schedule. Do. I had a, sh exactly. Mm. I had to, yeah, I had yeah. shit to do. Yeah. So it bro. occupied yeah. my fucking mind. Yes. I wasn't thinking about my time. I wasn't, thinking, I was running an operation. Yes. Period. 13 years became 10, 8, yes. 6. Yeah. Yes. And, and were it, you doing that the whole 13? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and I was and I was and I was making a lot of for, oh, let me clarify something, guys. When you say yeah. When I say I got 13 years, it doesn't mean that I did 13 years. Yeah. So, like I said, I was innocent. So, like I would say, like in year seven or eight, the appeals contacted us and told me that I won my appeal. Oh shit. So I had to go back to the detention center. My lawyer came and saw me. He says, I have good news, I have bad news. I'm like, okay, what is it? And this is December like 16th. Okay. Okay. Right before Christmas. Mm. Fucking cold outside. Yeah. I'm back in the bucket with fucking minors. I'm a grown man now. I'm hardened. I'm living in penitentiary lifestyle, running an operation. Yeah. Going and moving anywhere I want in that facility because that's the difference between a penitentiary and a detention center. A deten detention center. You are escorted everywhere throughout that building with guards. Okay. You are never walking alone by yourself. Yeah. You are treated like an animal. Wow. Period. Okay. Okay. In the penitentiary, it might sound crazy to say, but you're treated like a man. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. I have a fucking dentist appointment, they send me a fucking, it's a, it's a slip. We call it a slip. Mm -hmm. Every morning when you get up, every range, when you, when you get up, you wake up, you go into the, uh, the mess hall, the uh, kitchen, and there's a board and all the slips. There's like little tags, everybody's names on it. Where if, if you have an appointment, that's where your shit is. So everybody wakes up in the morning and always goes over there to see if they have an appointment. What's going on, yeah. So if you have a slip, you go to your appointment. I kind of forgot what I was trying to say to you guys first. No, no, so we're saying like, so you, then the appeals comes yeah. and then you go to, you go from the penitentiary, penitentiary the to the- news. Yeah. Yeah, so, but the, what I was trying to tell you is the difference between the penitentiary is you cannot, in the penitentiary, you are a man, and yeah. in the detention center, you are not a man. You're an animal. Yeah, yeah. So, an animal. Yeah, you're an animal. So, so you go there, and then because you, you said you didn't do a full thirteen, you ended up doing a little bit less. Yeah. So I won my appeal. Okay. I won my appeal. How did that feel? Amazing. <laughs> like, finally. But I thought I thought how it works is when you win your appeal, you just you get released. Mm. 
But I, I found out different because my lawyer came to see me, like I said, and said, I have good news, I have bad news. The good news is you can plead guilty and you'll get time served and go okay. home today. The bad news is uh, it'll probably take me another year to get you another trial and you're going to have to go through a whole new trial. And we don't know how these people are going to, you know, deal. Like, yeah, geez, deal we don't you, know yeah. what the jury is going to, you cannot, you yeah, know, you a jury's know. a jury. Yeah, you never those, know. Those guys have it's a like, bad day. Everything yeah, changes. you're gambling, you're yeah, gambling, yeah. you know? I said I'm going home. Yeah, fuck that. I didn't plead guilty to attempted murder because they know I didn't do it. I pled guilty to discharge of a firearm. Just discharge of a firearm in the air. Yeah. Nothing to do with the actual incident. Okay. okay. And I got time served and released. Yeah. So then after seven, seven years? Seven, eight. Like seven, eight, eight years. Eight, right. eight years yeah. you were out. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And, then, and then I guess knowing that now while you're in the bin <laughs> and you're saying, okay, I'm about to get out. What are you thinking now? What are you thinking about when you get out? What the fuck am I going to do? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What the did you fuck am did I you think do? about that at all while you were I in did, it? I did. I did. My brother ended up in jail with me too, and 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 I was like, yo, yo, I want to start a label. Maybe I should start a label. Sick. Maybe man. I should just find some rappers in the city and just start a label. That's what I. That was that was my initial thing, and I even came up with names. I I had bullpen records. Sick. Paddy Wagon Entertainment. Yeah, because I tried to I tried to like incorporate the whole prison thing. You of know? course. Bullpen. Yeah. We are in. Like, when you go to jail, you, they put you in a bullpen. Yep. That's yeah. That's what they call it. You know, and then the paddy wagon is that thing that they transport you back and forth to that court. Bus. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, so 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 you come out. What's what's the progression from there? Uh what do you do at first? And then kind of how does the music start? I know Drake obviously becomes a big part of the story at this point. Even like how how's even before that, sorry, yeah. even how how was life when you got out? Yeah, I mean, difference. you didn't miss much. You said you had a shocking, phone and it was shit. Shocking, it was shocking. It was well, shocking. eight years is a fucking long time. Shocking, time because bro. seeing different structures, That's buildings, right? malls. Yeah. Was there anything in particular you remember about, like, yo, what just happened here? Like, a, I think. A, like a, a big change or something. Yeah, I think like a mall. Like, I think like Scarborough Town Center. It was like <laughs> okay. a shock like, to you. It's a big difference. Yeah, how about the internet and shit? Like, social media. That, yeah, I didn't even know how to use bank cards, bro. Yeah. I didn't know none of that. You I didn't just know the e-transfer tip. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> e-transfer forever. Yeah, I didn't know how to use a bank card, So bro. you were trying to get accustomed as soon as you got out. You're like, yeah. okay, what's life like out here? But it was really, it was really a lot for me too because I wasn't used to like the, all the fast movement and shit, you know? Yep. I, I was used to being in a confined area. True. And did you, you have know? anybody that kind of helped you through that at the beginning? My mom. Yeah. That same lady. Yeah. Yo, wow. I remember I came out, I didn't have nothing, man. And she bought me my first car. Sick. She oh, me, shit. I, she okay. bought me a little Honda Civic with Let's some go. Lamborghini doors on it. <laughs> shit. You Come had on. Story. Stop this. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> it was lowered to the tip. Yo, that and, shit and was hold on. sexy. At that point in your head, you're saying, I'm not going back to jail. Like, for sure. Yeah, I'm not I'm not thinking. Of, yo, I'll tell you why. Because I know at that time, I can remember, I was not thinking about crime at yeah. all. I wasn't mm. thinking about, yo, what is the fastest come up right now? I yeah. need it. Yeah. yeah, I need to do something right now. You're yeah. like, I'll take it slow, bro. I'll yeah, yeah. Slow. I was like, you know what? You know what it was? Sorry, it was it was my brother. I called my brother. His name is Bucky Marshall. All right, yo, because he did a lot of time too, and he came out and he went back to his mom's house, and I used to be like, yo, bro, yo, get yourself together, man. Like, yo, man, I'm, I'm used to seeing, because he was the first guy seen in the Bubble Eye Benz, mm -hmm. the, the Lexus, TS300. He was rimmed down. Like, he was yeah, doing yeah, it yeah. when I was young. Like, he was the guy, you know? And now he's just like, 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 ah, like, I don't know. Like, up. those guys, that, <laughs> those guys that you feel like comment on people's Instagram that <laughs> yeah. live at their mom's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stop, yeah. Stop, yeah. I, I'm not saying bro. that he was doing that, but yeah. that's He's giving you the vibe. That's the vibe yeah, I'm yeah, getting yeah, from yeah. him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I would always be like pressuring him like, yo, dog, fix up. Mm. And he's like, yo, listen to me, bro. I'm not putting myself in no jeopardy ever again in my life. Bro. Yeah. I'm never going to make these people take years away from me because, bro, he, he even had it harder than me. I'll, I'll be real. like, And the reason why I say he had it harder than me because we did it roughly around the same time, but he got sent to America. He actually did time in, uh, in America, oh, okay. like American prison. Yeah, you yeah. know that shit's a different animal. For you know facts. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I couldn't survive there, but I'm just saying it's a different. It's a different. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Too much different shit going on out there. And he survived it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. So I respect him. Kind of used him to like learn sort of what the fuck to do when yeah, he came and, out. And, and he would tell me like, listen to me, bro. What would you prefer, bro? Would you prefer to, to know that 
You can be at your mom's house in your bedroom mm. and, and open the door, go use the bathroom, go, go to the kitchen, make yourself a sandwich, go outside, fucking smoke a cigarette, and then come back inside. Yeah. And then do the same thing half an hour later. <laughs> Sounds <Yeah>. good. <laughs> or you want to be in a fucking cell with like 40 fucking niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Scrapping, Different. bickering. I'm like, you know what? You're right, bro. Mm. Yeah. Because when I was in jail, those times and I was like dying to get out, I'm like, yo, I would just be in my, yo, bro, if they even put me on house arrest, I would love to just be at home. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's so, so I have different. to keep reminding myself, like, bro, buddy, where you came from is not nice. You don't want that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't yeah. fucking want that. Man. True. So what was your first move when you came out? My first move was like trying to figure out how to make money. Yeah. yeah. Legally. Yeah. True. You know what I'm saying? And so what so was I went, I went and had to get, I had to go and get all my ID and stuff. Yeah. But in the midst of that, like, my neighborhood and uh, the affiliate neighborhood, I knew like I knew people from there, you know, like G Way. I knew like the young boys. The young boys were coming up, you know, okay. like Preem. Yeah, yeah, like, okay. Like you know, Styles. Yep, yeah. You know, like all those guys. They were just coming up, Chubs. Yeah, you know, and they were in the rap thing already. Okay, and they kind of had not kind of they were connected to to Drake, you know. Yeah. So I just remember one day they were doing a video and I, Prem was doing a video and I believe Drake had a scene in the video and they were doing the video in their neighborhood and the police came because, you know, at that time we're not getting permits and stuff. True. So yeah, they yeah, came yeah, and yeah. locked just pulling them up. down. Yeah. So I, I don't know if Prem reached out to me or I told Prem like, yo, come to my neighborhood and do it in my neighborhood because it was just one scene. I was like, yo, I'm sure we could get it done quick before even if they wanted to come and do the same thing over here like whatever even though it would be another division yeah i'm just saying they might try to do the same but let's do it okay. and get it over long story short i ended up meeting drake that night that was okay. the day i got introduced to him yeah. from preem and never looked back since yeah what, what was that what was that like for you how did the relationship start so you meet him that night but is it an instant connection instant connection yeah instant connection okay instant connection because i was i was started rolling around moving around with him okay. right away right away like yeah. it just happened right away and i just never left i yeah. just been there you know and, yeah yeah and then i've just been doing the you know you know making sure he's good vibe you know what what you uh, do you remember what year this was like at what point in his career are you now sort of involved? I think it was like two thousand and six or seven. Oh, so it's early. It's early. Yeah, it's early. 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 But you started okay. also as as security. That's basically what I was doing. Yeah, but not really security because I wasn't. You're just chilling security. with them. You're just chilling. yeah. I was just, just chilling. chilling with so how them. does the music come up now? How do, how do you bring the music, up the music? The music comes up because I I I, I was doing that for years. The, of course, the, but how do you how do you say Drake? I it didn't happen like that. Didn't happen like it that. Didn't happen like okay, that. Okay. I I just stepped away, not stepped away, but like it, like in my like personal time when I had time for myself, I just said, "Yo, I need to just go find some kids, okay, and just start some shit." Like mm, the label you, know? you were saying, yeah, okay, or even just to even like be able to bring them to to the boy and be like, "Yo, I have some artists. These guys like, got talent. Yo, like I want to be a part of this thing. Like, how can we do this? Like, so you bring know? in value, like right yeah, off the yeah, bat. For sure, yeah, of for course, sure, of course, for sure." Which or is even, smart, which is smart, bro. Right? Yeah. And then, like, in the midst of that, I was so, like, th that, that love of music started coming back to me because I was spending so much time in the studio with them and stuff, yeah. listening to a lot of beats. And then one day I just heard a beat and it moved me. The okay. beat just, just, it just, I don't know, it just moved me. And I, and the, the guy that I had in there that was basically, like, the main guy, his name is Hypa. Okay. okay? Shout out to Hypa. Um, he was like, yo, why don't you just go jump, go jump in the studio, man? Cause I was there and I was, I was just talking <laughs> shit to myself. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, and he's like, bro, go, go on the mic. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Went on the mic, did some crazy shit and then came back out and the engineer did his thing to it and played it back for me. I was blown out of my you mind. You couldn't believe like, it. No way that's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah. And I was, I just fell in love. Is that the first time you heard yourself on a yes, track? Yes, Yeah. And okay. I fell in love instantly. And I was like, wow. And then it went from, from me always being with them to me even stepping away because I was like, it's the passion. Like it was driving me. Like yeah. I need to go get my own studio time, and because like, yeah. I got some shit to say. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. 
that's what I did, and, yeah. and, and that's when I did that, you know, that album and live up to my name. Yeah. And so that's where it started. Yes, it started there. But at, at what point? Yeah, whip. Yeah, that was my first song. There was there, and then I, I guess at what point are you saying like? Is Drake getting involved with your music? Oh, so so is, so. Does this he is, listen? And so, he's like, "Wait, this what? Is what happened? This is what happened. This is what happened." So I'm making the music now, right? And I'm working with Murder Beats. Let's yes. go! Shout yes. out Murder. You heard me? I'm yes. working with Murder Beats. Okay. So now, the music is is crazy, not crazier now because the beats are like the production's mud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somehow, the music gets back to Drake. Somebody plays something to Drake. Okay. And Drake is hearing it and he's like, wait, he's like, who is this? And they end up saying that it's me. And he ended up liking the song. Okay. So he hits me and he's like, yo, is this what you're doing? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just trying. I basically, I'm just trying something, you yeah, know? Fucking around. And he's yeah, like, yeah. yo, if this is what you want to do, do it. Damn. And and at that yo, at that same time, yo, shout out all my brothers. Yo, this, yo, we just keep shit real and yo. It is what it is. I know my brothers love me and they want the best for me. And at the time, I guess they didn't see that for me. Okay. For sure. And I respect them because, you know, no one would have saw that. No one would have expected it because that just wasn't in the picture. I ne yeah. was, it was never a discussion. Yeah. Yo, Baka's going to be a rapper. It was just, yo, Baka's in his position and he's doing his thing. Yeah. And then the music thing just came out of nowhere. So a lot of people didn't want me to do it. Okay. Yeah. They didn't want you, you know, to change. They didn't want me. They wanted me to stay on that. You know, of course, on the tip you were on. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And I understand. I understand that. But like, you know. Yeah, but then you have Drake coming in. No, if Drake, of his stature and be yeah. yeah. yeah and you could do this. Once he told me that, I was like, "Fuck, are you serious?" Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, "You know what? Let's go." Yeah. yeah. You know. So I went on the let's go with a lot of my friends not wanting me to do it. So yeah, like, in the beginning, it was kind of rough. It was shaky. Yeah. But yeah. they. Yo, you know, the music just started getting better and better. And they're like, you know what? Speaks for this guy, this guy, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy can actually, yeah, yeah, you know? So it just, yeah, they so it's, accepted it's, it. It's always hard to uh, to reinvent yourself. Yeah. That's what I feel, you know? And I feel mm -hmm. like, especially with your past and you come out the bin and you're like, okay, these guys are like, oh, this is Baka not nice. He's fucking not nice. This is what he does. Yeah. Then you're trying to convince people, no, nah, hold on, though. I could rap though. And also right? people so, that know you and know your past. Yeah. Right? So talk, talk about that, about reinventing yourself because I feel like a lot of people it, do that in life and it could be applied to anything. Yeah, it, it wasn't easy because like I said, a lot of, like my friends weren't hating on me, but they weren't, they didn't want me to do it. Like yeah. they yeah. wanted me to stay doing what I was doing and stuff, but. They um, weren't like big supporters. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, in the beginning. But I, I stayed with it because I loved it. Yeah, and true. I had the support of the big guy. Well, that's what saying, I'm saying. Like, yo, you could actually do it. But this. do you think if Drake didn't say that, that you would have went that hard with the music still? I might have backed down because A little my bit. because my just because of my friends saying, like, yo, yo, chill off of that, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Yo, you, yo, we need you for other things. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, bro, we don't need you don't need to be doing that. Let the boy take care of that. So, yeah. so, you know, so I might have I might I might have eased off because because I didn't Prove myself to none of them that like I could do it. Like yeah. there was no song, so yeah, no for proof sure. Yet. You didn't have yeah, a resume. Yeah, I wasn't able. Yeah, but because he said that, that little nudge, you a little fire, a little that, fire. Yeah, yeah it was bro. just like okay. But I'll tell you right now, if he said that to me and I don't even like music like that, I would have became a music artist too. <laughs> <laughs> like you see, what I mean? because you're getting yeah, it from him. Yeah, because you're saying okay, if he's he telling what you he's that, looking at, bro. Exactly. He knows what so he's I'm seeing. So I'm like, yo, he can't, he can't be telling me this just because he wants. Just because you're boys, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's an no, honest. He wouldn't want to embarrass because he's a businessman too. He's a businessman too. Exactly. So, so, so then I guess the big blow up moment. Is live up to my name for sure. Yo, big yo, big yo big that big was the anthem. Yo, hold on. We used to be promoters, up. right? We were promoters in, on King West, right? <laughs> yeah. All the clubs there. Bro, that yo, track man. took that whole street, all of King West, by a storm for I don't know how many months. <laughs> I would go to sleep and I would hear the track in my head. Yo, you know it that, was right? that anthem, bro. It was that anthem. Like, how does that come to be? Walk us through that, that whole thing because I feel like that probably changed everything. It did. That that's what like put me on this platform that I'm on right now. Live up to my name. I mean, yo, I went all the way to Europe to get that beat. Come I got on. that beat in the UK in London. Say word. Yeah, in a studio session with a whole bunch of like UK rappers. Yeah, yeah. UK producers. Even some producers from like California were out there too. Okay. And I was listening to beats the whole night. I started even making a song. I think we with gigs. Okay. 
And then, like, you know, it got stale for a bit. And then, you know, we're just moving around. Like, mm. the, the way how the studio was set up, it was, like, different, different rooms. So I am I'm I know what I'm looking for. That's the, that's the thing. Yeah. I, I want, yo, I want to, I want everybody to understand, like, yo, I know when I hear that beat. That beat moves me yeah. immediately. I, 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 I know. What if I have to be, uh, uh, it's not the beat for me. Yeah, keep it moving. Yeah. yeah I know when the mm. beat's for me, you know, so. So you heard that beat. I went into a studio session and with this American producer, but I'm not going to say his name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, and they played the beat. I was like, no fucking way. And it, the crazier thing was, is that nobody was biting. I'm like, I heard it. I was like, I was like, you know, like a kid when you go like in a toy store, you're like, yeah. what the fuck? I was like, whoa. I was blown away immediately. Okay. And I'm looking around, I'm surveying the room. I'm like, no one's moving. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> All right. All right. I looked at the engineer. I'm like, yo, load that one up for me. Let's go. He loaded it up. And I just snapped. The rest was <laughs> history, bro. I snapped. But check this out, though. It's not done. I snapped. The boy heard it. Right? Yep. We went back to... I think we came back to Canada. Okay. Went back to the studio. The boy said, instead of doing it like this, do it this way. And I did it that way. And it ended up with Live Up To My Name, how we have it right now. Wow. So the track was actually different. A little bit. Not, okay. a, not that much. Just a little bit. Like, just get little tweaks. The just little... one and two little tweaks. Yeah. That's all it needed. That's the experience, though. And that's real. That's real yeah. life. Wow. Yeah. And that changed your life. Bro. Changed my life. So you, pu you pumped that track out. And how long does it take for you to be like, holy shit, this thing is taking off? It happened instantly. Right away, right? Instantly. Yeah. Instantly. And but the crazier thing is what I want people to know is that at the time I couldn't travel. I remember okay. that. I so remember I was that. just in Canada and like Europe. Yeah. I never got to go to America with live up to with my that name. track, which is when, crazy. Where, where it was never, going crazy there too. I, like it was <laughs> yo, bro, Yeah, they went off. My biggest fan base is actually in New York. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know? Interesting. Yeah, because we can I, I what is it? To the how did we? Uh, there's a, there's a thing that um, like an app or something. Like yeah, that. there's an app that that the label uses that shows you where your biggest fan base where is. Where your people are, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I believe New York is like my biggest. And then yo, listen, you you guys shop. I think probably one of the most iconic music videos for that. I want to talk about Facts. that, bro, because it was like <laughs> yo, because it, it it seemed like it was like portions of it were on a whim or whatever, but like, man, you watched that back, and I think you were like one of the first people to give that type of vibe, like that VCR type of vibe and just like, it's like you were just at, like at different parties and you guys yeah. were just going off. Just like, party hopping. Crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> like how'd that come to be? You guys planned it that way? Or like what was the it, situation? I I, yo, honestly, it, it wasn't, uh, some of it was planned. Yeah. But a lot of it was just like. Run and gun. Just run and gun it. Like, like that, that, that Sway Lee. Yes, I'm saying that yeah, yeah. part yeah. was yeah. definitely not planned. Yeah, that yeah, part yeah. was not planned. You know and, what I'm saying? And, and what's crazy is, Every man in that track, which we're talking the biggest people, Sway Lee, Weekend, Nav, all these guys, Drake, like everyone knew the the like the, the lyrics, bro, word for it was word, crazy. bro. It was <laughs> Yo, like, how about I tell you guys like that song still goes in the club right now? Oh, it does. Hundred like, percent. Timeless, so timeless though. To I be performed honest. it the other day. Yeah, Why recently, not? And, and it still bangs. But you can crazy. bang at any time. Yeah, and, and that's what that's what I wanted to ask you. Like even finding your sound. Yeah, you know, like how how was that for you? Like finding out who you are as an artist. What what even you want people to feel when they listen to your music? Because for me personally, when I listen to your music, after I listen to let's say "Live Up to Your Name." Like, bro, my energy goes from here to here mm. and I'm ready to do something crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So was that planned? Was that on purpose? Ah, you know what it is, man? I think, I think, so in my, I'll tell you straight up, like, I yeah. feel what happened to me when I went to prison, <clears throat> it was like Peter Pan. Okay. No, I'm being dead serious. Okay. Time stops. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Time literally stops. Okay. Because I don't know what the fuck is going on behind that wall. True. I can't see nothing. Yeah. I, I can't even see a highway. I can't see shit. All I see is green. Yeah. Or water. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what's going on. So True. time has totally stopped for me. Okay. So within that time stopping, all that energy that I had was bottled up. It was True. just bottled up. And I have all this fucking energy, bro. And the only way I know how to like, like get rid of it is is this like through the this music. Yeah. through the music yeah. you know what I'm saying like yeah. so I'm gonna always be high energy 
yes. always be yes. even if this even if the song seems like slower like a little bit slow down to you guys when I perform it, that energy is still going to be there. Yeah. So, yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. In, in terms of like performing the music, like, do you have any one concert, you know, a venue event where you're like, damn, like, I'll never forget that. Like, that was a fucking crazy moment. Ah, when Drake, when Drake brought me out on that uh, award show. Okay. In uh, Vegas. Okay. The billboards. Yeah. Billboards? Fucking yeah. crazy. Okay. When we did the, what was it, Fontaine Blue? Bellagio. Uh, Okay. <laughs> that shit was <laughs> true. That, it's fucking high like class, yo, bro. Yo, when I did that, I was like, all right, yeah, you're different. You're different. Yeah. You're yeah. different. Because not too many people can say they did anything on this, true. bro. Yes. And me and my brother did it. Like, we killed that performance. And it wasn't even like no practice, nothing. We just went on that that platform on the water. Mm -hmm. And what, yeah, on a rope. And what you've seen is what we did. And that yeah. was it. Oh, with the fountain in the back. Yeah. yeah. I've seen that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We will yeah. pop that up. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. There yes, was no yes. rehearsal straight from the, the tugboat onto from that the dome, platform. Off the yeah, dome, yeah. Like, perform. Damn. Yeah. How, how was performing for you as well? Like, how was that getting into that That's whole a different world? experience. That's a whole world for you. Energy, bro, that mm. I love. Were you ever nervous it. about doing it? Yo, I'm nervous before I go on stage. And for I'll sure. tell you straight up. Anybody that say they're not nervous, something's yeah. wrong with them. Of course. You're psychotic. <laughs> of course. Yeah, you're yeah. psychotic. You're crazy. Yeah, yeah, you're crazy. But there's good yeah. nerves. There's good yeah, nerves yeah. too. And, and it's good nerves. It's good nerves. Means you're excited. I'm I'm so excited. But once I once once I call it once I put my foot on the on the on, on the, the on that on that stage yeah that my first step like mm. well, as the audience can see me that first step I'm on I'm on everything now you're there yeah like, you, you yeah, can't, yeah yeah and 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 I'm gonna tell you something I learned too from I don't want to say his name because we're just not name dropping but yeah yeah this great man told me that when you go perform don't I don't want my fans to take this the wrong way. I want you to understand it how I understood it. When you go perform, perform for yourself. Perform like you're the only person in that room. Yeah, yeah. And then it's going to project to your fans because it's like you being at home performing in front of a mirror, performing your lyrics, performing your moves, how you're going to... All of that is going to come back to you, so it's going to be like second nature. You're going to yes. get the best version. You're going to get the best version of me because I'm going to feel comfortable yes. and calm. In your zone. I'm like, in my own world. I yeah. don't even know that you guys are. I know you're there, but you're I'm not, not thinking there. about it. But you're yeah. not at the I'm same not, time. Yeah. yeah, I'm not thinking about it because yeah. if I do think about it, I might fuck up. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let me be in my own zone yeah. and let me put on the show for you how I would do it if I did it for myself. Mm. So yep. that's what you, you know keep what in mind when you go up there. That's yeah. what's in your head. Because I know how I want to look when I look in the mirror. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. true. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's great advice, straight up. Yeah. It was the best so, thing he ever told. Yeah. Bro, I was like, wow. <laughs> wow. And, and and it's crazy because I performed that history the other day. And yep. Yep. I came out on the stage and I hadn't performed in a long time. So it's, it's like, it's like, you know, like I because it, it's happened to me before where I came out and I didn't feel the energy sure. yeah right and, and and it caused my energy to stay stagnant low yeah so I I went out there and I realized that not that the, the energy was great you know but I just wanted more because yeah, as an entertainer more. you want more yeah. absolutely so I, I I realized that and I said you know what okay go in that zone go in your own world perform for yourself mm. and I did that and it was just like and I bet you the, the energy in the room went up based went on that. That goes up, up yeah. It turned up because I got loose. Yeah. I wasn't stiff. I got loose. I was comfortable. You know, I want to I'm, I'm, I want to ask you because I'm very curious. We talk about this a lot. Like you mentioned some of the, your, your biggest fan base is actually in New York. Mm. We noticed that when we started leaving and doing these podcasts in Miami, New York, L.A., that we were actually getting more love, I want to say, from strangers, like other cities than your own city. So yeah. I'm curious for yourself. Like, mm. did you notice you had a lot of love from Toronto? Or did you have to like kind of prove it to the city, like, yo, I'm actually here to do real shit? Yeah, because I feel like in the beginning people thought that I was uh what's that thing that they say? 
um, <laughs> about artists that know big artists. They say like, okay, you're, whatever, you're a plant. Like, you're a yeah. plant. Okay, okay, okay yes, yes, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah, I've heard yeah. that. I was like, I'm a plant. <laughs> Who are you calling a fucking plant? <laughs> you see my fucking energy when I go yeah. on the stage, it's bro. True. I'm not stagnant. I'm yeah. not. I'm not. I'm not standing in front of the mic and just standing there and looking at you guys. I'm I'm jugging. Yeah, yeah. You facts. know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thing, yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm growling at you. I'm giving you. I'm giving you energy as much as you're giving me. Yeah, yeah. it's going and sometimes back and forth. even more. Yeah. Mm. Do you wish that Toronto showed more love sometimes? You know what it is, Toronto. You 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 have to prove yourself to Toronto. Yeah, yeah. yeah but but the, here's the thing about proving yourself. Sometimes you have to leave to prove yourself. You do, that's right? what happens. That's yeah. what happens. Like they, like these artists, like, they head out to LA, they head out to yeah. New York because yeah. they have to. Yeah. And then the, yeah. and then the people here are like, oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, yeah. it hurts. But you know, you have to. You have to. Yeah. And and you know, like, that's just how your city is, you know? Yeah, because, yeah. yo, I'd rather my city be known like that than be known as, oh, you guys got eagles. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, facts, Fuck facts, you. facts. Which we just stopped Fuck that you. finally. Like, last five years. Last five like, years that just yo. stopped. Um, but let's talk about the music too, because I got I know you got new music. Yeah. We gotta yes. go over that. Oh, so what's yeah. going on? Wait, wait, no, no. I know you released a few tracks. Yeah. Is there more tracks coming? Bro. What's the plan with this? Talk Bro. to us. We got we got so much new music right now. Okay. Um I'm so excited. I'm 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 at this point right now in my career where I'm uh what's the word I'm looking for? Uh I'm I, I have anxiety or I'm anxious. You're yeah. anxious, yeah. I, I I want to get the music to you guys. Yes. yes. But but I want my fans to understand like everything has to be done properly. Yeah. yeah every, you have to have a game plan. You yeah. can't come out sloppy. You gotta True. you gotta come out knowing what you're doing. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. And 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 I take this thing very serious. I put in a lot of studio hours. Yeah. yeah. Tremendous amount of studio hours. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't take this for a joke. And, and 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 not even just me, my 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 friends as well, like yeah. my, my engineers, my producers, you know, my managers, the assistants, everybody that comes along with me. There's that's a team. There, the team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not just me. Yeah. You know, and 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 everybody's got to understand. You're you're only as good as your fucking team, bro. Facts. Facts, facts bro. It is. So I gotta big up my team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they work hard and they and they want to see me win. They want to see us get to where we're trying to get to. They yeah. want to see us reach our goals. You know, so, there could be that pressure from fans sometimes though too. Like it's like, where's course. the new music? Where's the where's the of fucking course. new track? Of course. You ever feel that pressure? A lot. Yeah, a lot. You kind of just gotta leave it but, on the side. But you gotta leave it. And I learned from Drake too. Like if you notice, like a lot of people try to get at Drake and of pop course. Shit. And what yeah. does he do? He doesn't reply to them. Yeah. True. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and you know what? You got you can't reply to all of them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's that's what they want though. They want you to worse. respond though. They, that's what they want. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I learned like I yeah. and, and like I told you guys earlier, like I've learned so much from Drake. It's it's insane. Yeah. And I'm glad that I had that tutoring that be able to watch him. I, even down to how he moves on the stage and shit like that. I had to figure out for my own way, my own style. But but using his his knowledge on yes. it. Well, it's good yeah. inspiration, and it's a good it's a good like a good You're place to from take the best. information it's, it's, it's from. The best blueprint yeah. ever. Yeah. Period. You know what I'm saying? And, so. and, and, and I'm curious. Like we like to ask artists this question. Like yeah. And even creators, in terms of like you had live up to my name, which like I said became an anthem. Like I think that might have been the biggest track, if it not still the biggest is, track bro, it's crazy. that year, and yeah. still like lives on to this day, right? Like, do you ever feel pressure to have to do the same or or even better? Because I feel like as an artist, that's okay. always a struggle so, you so, have, so, right? So, so, so to be your last one, you know? So, so yeah, I, I won't lie. I won't lie. Uh, during the pandemic, I was going through that a lot. Uh -huh. I was going through that. I was like, yo, I need to find a way. Because I feel like everybody's waiting for me to do better than live up to my name. Because, True. Because the, way, the reason why I say it too is because... Like I say, to this day, live up to my name still goes off. Of yeah. Course, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the show the other day, they wanted, I didn't want to do live up to my name last. I wanted to do it first. <laughs> yeah, just, just to get, get the energy, energy up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And not only that, just to let people know, like, yo, we have other music yes, too. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Let's, let's make one of these other songs just as big. True. You know yeah, it's banging. True. Because yeah. the music is good. Give it a chance. True. I know how... I know how it works now. Like, yo, the the attention span is so <laughs> it's short. Like this, bro. It's, 
minuscule. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what I what I want to teach my fans, and I hope what my fans pick up, even just from this interview right here, you know, you gotta give chance. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta take chances sometimes in life. Like, yeah, you know, and give and just listen because for me. I promise you, I don't. I'm not rapping like any other rapper. Yeah, I, and I, I we make a point of that, you know. Mm. And when when we're doing when we're in the studio, we yeah. make a point of that. True. We're not trying to sound like anybody. Of course, we're trying to be ourselves. That's when you get. That's when you get the biggest. Exactly. When you're unique. So we like just that. we just trust the music. We just like right now. I know what what we have in the vault is so crazy and yep. refreshing. I just. I just trust the process, you know. And and so, what can we expect, bro? Is it going to be? We got the new project now. Yeah, I was going to see a new album. We got a new album coming. Yeah. We got a couple more singles coming. Yes, okay. Trust me, bro. <laughs> okay. It's about to be a wild summer, no? Yeah, okay. I just, we just dropped a new song. <laughs> yeah. Like what, two days ago? A couple days yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, I know when when they get it, when it, it catches on to them, it's going to go. It's, yeah. it's just one of those songs, you know? And I feel like that's another thing that I think a lot of artists probably took from Drake. He's made a point of saying this where it's like, you listen to it, maybe you don't understand it at the beginning, but once you understand it, it hits different. How many times that different. happened with Drake? The album comes out, oh, this is the worst album of all time. Next week, it's all over everywhere. Yeah. It's just, I feel like, I feel like they just, these, those people that do these things, yeah. just feel they have to say, well, well, they're, they're bringing on downfalls, yeah. bro. That's what they're doing and, out and, here. And, 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 but, but you know what? But it gets the it's clicks crazy. too and shit. Like. Yeah, because yo, you build him up and then yeah. you want to tear him down. <laughs> yeah. It's the craziest like, thing. What is this, Lego? Yeah. <laughs> it's the craziest <laughs> thing, bro. That's yeah. crazy. Well, listen, I mean, like, you have a crazy story, and I, I know that you have a lot of knowledge, too, so I wanted to ask you some questions, too. Like, yeah, yeah. Yep. Even some off-topic. Yeah. What's the worst advice you've ever been given? What's the wor worst advice? The worst advice, advice yeah. Um, and then we're going to do the best. Okay. The worst would be... The worst would be... <laughs> don't worry. Like, basically, like... So, I got out, I got out on parole... And a guy told me that I could get into this business, this fraudulent business, and it's so under fucking the radar. The radar that nothing would ever happen to me. Yeah. And then, no longer than a week later, because I told him, "Give me like two weeks to you know." Think about me, it. Yeah. A week later, <laughs> his not... whole operation went. Couples. And he's in the bin. Yeah. And he's in the bin. Yeah. I'm like, yo, <laughs> yeah. this is insane. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe not everything's under the radar when when people say it. Yeah, maybe that could so be the worst advice. You yeah. were on the you were the target, <laughs> yeah. buddy. Yeah. You were the you were the radar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're the bullseye. Yeah. Yeah. If they even mention the radar, then there's a radar, bro. And, and you're on it. Yeah, you're on it. How about the best advice? This could even be from the boy too. Like anything, really. The best advice from 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 your third mother. The best advice, don't blow your money. Mm. True. Mm. The best advice. Because it's easy to blow your money, bro. Easy as yeah. hell, bro. It's so easy to blow your money. Yep. Clubs alone. <laughs> Trust. Oh, you know? Yeah. We know that oh, one. We know, we know yeah. that one, bro. I learned a lesson. And I <laughs> promise you. <laughs> yeah. I promise you. I know you were going out. You were going out pre-pandemic. You were going yeah, hard. Yeah, I see yeah, you. I yeah, see yeah. you. Yeah. I'm outside. Um, hey, I, I want to ask quickly yeah. about the... The, the money and sort of how it works in the music game, right? True. Because you have this track that goes crazy. Obviously, I'm sure you had probably a crazy couple years there. But like you said, and I still hear the track on the radio. Like, it's still bumping in the clubs. Residuals. So, so yeah, I want to I get like a little bit of an understanding of how that works. And even if you're willing to talk about what kind of money like that even is. It's good money. I'll yeah. just say that. Okay. You okay. know, so like, you, like, honestly, like... I, I don't know. I I would say I don't want to say the average rapper could survive off of his thing, but I mean, like, if you have a few hits or a hit, yeah, you'll be all right. You'll be yeah. good. You could be all right. Yeah, if you know how to manage your money properly. You okay. could definitely be all right. You Hell know yeah. What I'm saying? Hell hey, yeah. How about how about even your squad, like your team? How do you manage that? How do you build that? And what's your role when it comes to like everyone on your squad? Well, basically, you got to be a boss, and mm. a boss always wants his team to eat. Facts. True. You know. Like, yo, bro, listen to me, man. I'm not going to be one of these guys out here with a Rolls Royce and my niggas are driving Honda Civic. True. Yeah, it's true. It's you know true. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's wrong, bro. Yeah. Because then you're not a leader, bro. You're not a leader. You're not but a boss. But then the people boss. around you don't... You're not, you're, not, yeah. you're not trying to help your friends elevate, bro? Yeah. You want your nigga in a four-cylinder and you're a fucking V12? <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. But they feel bro. that, too. They see that, too. So that's important for your yeah, team. Yo, listen to me. I uh, Yo, I learned this from a Jamaican, too. Like, a real scumbag, but... 
Yo, what he said was true. Yo, if you don't feed the fucking dogs, they're gonna bite you, bro. Mm. Fuck. That's facts. That's facts, bro. That's Better good. feed the dogs. Yeah, it's true. Cause they'll bite. Yeah. And you can't blame them for not bite for, yeah, for, for biting, biting yeah. you. They like, need to eat. They need to eat. They need to eat. They got families too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're expecting them to be there and when to you work need them. and to and, and, and to do what you want to push yeah. and to want you to win, yeah, you gotta want them to win too, bro. Well, they say you're only as good as your weakest, like your weakest, like the team is only as good as the weakest player, right? Yeah. So it's like That's you're saying, guys rolling around the Civic, you're in a Rolls Royce. It's it like, looks bad, man. Yeah. It looks bad. It looks bad. You no? look like a dictator, bro. It looks weird, bro. <laughs> you know? squad right it looks yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah you look like a dictator. Shout out to the squad. Yeah, man. So what you got going for the summer? What's what's the plan? I'm just trying to drop pure music on the head tops, bro. Yeah, you guys chilling Toronto. Oh, you got any travels or tour? Yeah, everything. Okay, yo, if you come to Miami, you got to link with us. Yes. Around there. Yo, bro, come on, man. Miami's Say less. Spot, We're out man. there, bro. We're out there. Say less. Yes. Fuck, bro. This was a great chat. Straight Say up. Less. Bro. Do you have I'm, any advice for any young artists out there? My advice, like seeing the world now, like not how you had to come up through music, but seeing it now with everything, with the social media, with yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, my advice is to take your own advice. Hmm. All right? That's it. Okay. And to fucking push. Yeah. Because, yo, let me tell you something. Yo, when I when I really, really was saying, yo, this music shit, this music shit, I was listening to Gucci Mane. Yeah. Okay? And when Gucci Mane dropped with Jeezy, everybody was like trying to clown that nigga, bro. Yeah. They were saying that nigga sucks. Yeah. Mm. But I heard something that they didn't hear. Okay. I heard the pain. I heard the stories that I can relate to. I heard a man that been through some shit in his life and that's still going through shit in his life. True. Yeah. That I can relate. Yeah. And I'm like, you can't make this shit up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. But I like what you said. It's important. Like, trust your own advice. Because a lot of the times, bro, you truly deep down, you know what's good for you. You can, you can talk yeah. to your boys. You your can talk to some mentors. Inner, you got to yeah. listen to your inner wishes, yes. bro. Yes, Eight, like, Let me say, 96% yeah. of the time, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. right, yeah. right, bro. Yeah, it's true. You know it's so down. crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now let me ask you. You said you believed in God. Of course. You think that's intuition or you think that's God? I think it's God. I yeah. think it's God. But, and, and the reason why I use it, because I'm just trying to be like, you know, I don't want to be. I don't want to be too political. Of course, and sure. I don't want to be too religious because yes. I know how that stuff gets. <laughs> of course, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? It's 2023 for you. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, of course. But I'm not scared to talk about. Neither are we. Yeah, my yeah. belief and, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and what I what I love. Of you know course, what I'm of course. Yeah. I'm a man. That's I, it. And, and at the end of the day, respect me as a man. Of course, I'm going to respect you and what you believe in. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and you even know? as a man. Like, I think another thing that people would think too, they see you and they're like, yo, look at this big, tough guy, bucking not nice, must be tough as fuck. This guy never has a bad day. What do you do when you experience like lower times or, or maybe some, some times where you just don't have that same energy? Yo. Because a lot of men go through it, you yeah, know? Of course, like they of have course. that drive and then it's hard, but, it's hard but, to keep it going. But, yo, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. Yo, prison, whether it's for the good or for the bad, it just taught me how to deal with all these situations yeah. and 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 for me and i changed it up a bit now because i have i have a support network you know okay. yeah i have a team now i have a team now i have a manager that i can call i have i have a tour manager that i can call yeah. you know like i have people i can call cool. yeah cool yeah you, and, you and, and lean on. whether they get me out of that mode i can still vent it you can and vent then, it yeah. and, and then, then you do, have that and then do what i'm used to doing which is like when i was doing my time i would go to my cell and just I just be myself. I don't need to have nobody around me. Yeah. I just need to uh, calm it down and, and, and get everything back. Do you write control. or anything? Do you do anything like that? I don't write. No. I just... You talk to yourself? I, yeah, I talk to myself. All right. And that's not weird. It only no, gets no, weird. that's not weird. It only gets weird if you start answering yourself. <laughs> 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 that's a good one. That's a good one. Give him the mean question. Yo, yo, question. listen, man. I mean, listen, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate you, bro. What and a your chat, team. Everyone, man. thanks for coming, yeah, guys. Appreciate yeah, appreciate all thank you guys. guys. Yeah. This is, fuck, what a, dude, what a chat, man. What, and what a, like, you, we'll been, run back around two, around two too. We'll do another. Straight Probably up. Miami though. No, yeah, we'll Miami. Miami. Yeah. Miami. Yeah. Yeah. Another boat. Miami. Another boat again, bro. Oh, we're <laughs> doing different this time. This time we're gonna get a, 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 
a, a little bit bigger boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I want to invite some some ladies. Of you know? Okay, I would do okay. like a, I, I, if we can have like a little barbecue a little, yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A little <laughs> feng shui. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, you feel me? Well, well, listen, listen. We we are restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done, do done. Oh yeah, so you run the whole wait, thing. The Can thing? I talk about that? Of course. Yeah, of course. Okay, what are we so, talking about? So I'm investing in in a restaurant in Miami. That's Come amazing. on, and it's right okay. beside. Oh, so oh, you're, oh, in, the so right you're in the spot. Oh. You're in the spot. Okay. Wow. When when when's uh when's it opening? What's the what's the situation? Uh, okay. Shortly, shortly, but okay. I'll, I'll, so we'll I'll, do it there. That sounds crazy. Why don't and we then, do that? And then jump on yeah, the boat. That sounds, that then sounds, we jump on the boat. That's swag. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. Because right. we, we, we got Dave Grubman on the pod too. He's smashing all the venues out there. You know how he does it over yeah, there, right? He's the big dog. Yeah, yeah. But we'll, we'll run it back. But uh, but listen, man, we are the MBH podcast, okay? Yes. Money buys happiness. Yes. So we like to ask our guests. I'm going to ask you, Baka, do you believe money buys happiness? No. No? No. Okay. Money money, money buys money buys a... Uh, uh, Money buys a time period. Okay. Uh, a moment. Yes. It can't buy happiness because happiness can be for a lifetime. True. You know? Yeah. So I don't think money could buy happiness. It my, money money can buy you that like one good party, that little car, or yeah. whatever, that yeah. food, that that hey, ice. You, but you're gonna get over it. Yeah. You're gonna get over yeah. it, right? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna forget the party. Exactly. The car is gonna feel like whatever exactly the ice yeah yeah i hear you was I there anything you, big that you went to go buy when you when you got your first uh music paycheck no not yet not yet i'm waiting I, smart, I, feel, days, I, I, smart the I, money. I feel I, i'm gonna be honest with you guys i have a lot of like smart people around me like my tour manager cans and like henry yeah like i have a lot of smart people around me yeah and i promise you like I'm I'm gonna be doing like a, a crazy property first before yeah, I go. It's a business go. move, yeah. 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 Even before with the I restaurant go and do too. something that I want to do, because I got a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. I got a lot of time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're gonna do it the right way. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And make sure we're secure. Yeah. And then we'll move from. And then there. the Rolls Royce will come. Yeah. 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 We keep it secure, bro. <laughs> you know? That's it. Secure. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Did I say that bro. right? You guys happy with how I said that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, <this> guy, this <laughs> is what they preach to me. These two guys right here. Yeah. Oh man. No, but honestly, it's it's very it, smart, bro. You see is. a lot of people, it athletes is. in the rap game, that that. Bro, they make a lot of money and they'll blow it right away, bro. And, and then they come back and they're broke. And you're like, why is this person leaves, making another yo, track when they're 60? And you're like, oh, I get it now. Yo, listen, I before we go, I just I've been watching this thing with this football player. I don't know his name. Okay. Okay. But uh, it looks like his girl was caught him cheating, but he really wasn't cheating. Okay. And she got her brothers to go over there to try to shoot him up. I see. And he this. ended up killing one of the guys. Is happening he's, right now in the states? Yeah, yeah he's yeah. on trial for murder right yes. now. And I'm just like, yo, bro. it's so sad. I just, I just want to be like, yo, bro, keep your head up. Where mm. I don't even know your name, bro, yeah. but I just know it's fucked up. Keep your head up, man. And yeah. you gotta watch who's around you. Definitely gotta watch who's so around you. It's so important, man. Keep yeah, the right good people. people around you. Yeah, people that want you to spend your money. And shit like that, those are not good people. Facts. People that people want you to save your money and make more money on top of your money, that's those are people you want around. Yeah, right keep person. them around. Straight Facts. up. Yo, Baka, appreciate you, bro. What a big chat. Guys, Love. make sure big you guys chat. like this episode. Comment below. Yep. Go follow ba Baka. He's on every social. Go listen to his new tracks. We're going to put everything in the description. Yep. Bro, Baka. Unreal, We're outside. Bro. We're outside. Yeah, yes. Appreciate you, man. My guy. Appreciate Yo, guys, you, brother. Thanks, you like that? Was, this interview was crazy. I love it. <laughs> it was so <laughs> relaxing. Like, that's you know? That's it. That's, that's the vibe, man. Relax, that's the vibe. Yeah, 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 Couple yeah, drinks, yeah. And ashtray. Was Lame, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yo, the the boat ashtray. ride was smooth, brother. Woo! Appreciate you, yes, brother. Sir. Yes. Captain Benny, baby. GTA Yachts. Let's go. Thank you, boys. We out. We out. We out. We out.